Okay, everyone, I quickly want to show you the dress I cut earlier on, what I have done to it, in order not to make the video to be too long. So what I've done so far is, I have used the lining in the front, the bodies, this is the front, the bodies, I've used double lining. So I've used the actual, this is the actual fabric, I've used the taffeta and the poly cutting to turn it out. So you can see, I've turned it out already so this is the front part of the bodies all i did was just to turn it i used the i stitched the taffeta to the lace to the lace and then i used the poly cutting to turn everything out so it was all like this so it was like this you can see that is the wrong inside so i just stitched it on the neck and then I used it to turn everything out and then I I on the stitch it. I on the stitch it as well. I hope you can see it very well. On the stitch it so that the lining will stay in. So that's the front part of the bodice. And this is the back. I've done the same to the back as well. I've used a double lining just to give the fabric a bit of body. The dress to make the dress have more body. So I've end up using two lining so that is taffeta and the poly cutting so i've done the same to the other side of the back as well so you can see and i've cut the sleeves out these are the sleeve i have a video tutorial on how to cut a sleeve so these are the sleeves and also i've gone ahead and joined the skirt so this is the skirt part of the of the dress the back section it's just the taffeta and you know it's a six piece dress it's a six pieces dress so I have joined all the layers together hope you can see it I've joined all the layers together so that's one two three four this is the back so I've joined all the layers together I don't know if you can see it properly that's the wrong side so you can see that's one panel that's another one that's another one and this is another panel over here it's a six pieces dress but the back is normally in four piece that's because of the zip the zip allowance so it's going to be having a zip at the back and at the mid back where the zip is i've also put i added more flare so that the flare will be more that's why you see that it's quite wide at the back because i added more flare so when the person wear it it looks very nice at the back so what i have done is i used this poly cutting to turn it as you can see so it has more body because the taffeta doesn't really, doesn't really have a lot of body but the poly cutting gives it a bit of weight so i've turned it out i've stitched them together i've done the same to the front as well the front one it's only the middle one that is going to be having the taffeta, but at the bottom of it, I've added the lace, as you can see. I've added the lace to the bottom part of the middle piece. Okay, so I've also joined it together. I've joined it together as well. The only thing I didn't do on the front section is, on the lace side, I didn't turn it out with the poly cutting because I don't really need it. I only just need just the taffeta to do that. So I've joined it all together, the three pieces together. The same thing for the back. So this is the front section and it's going to be having the lace. It's having the lace and then the middle is just the taffeta and the lace are both sides. Okay. So yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to first of all overlock them first i want to overlock the raw edges first i'm going to overlock the raw edges with my industrial machine overlocker so i overlock the raw edges and then i'll show you what is next okay everyone so this is the dress what i have done so far is that i have stitched everything together at the side I've sewn everything together at the side. Remember, it's a six-piece dress. So this is the wrong side of the dress. 
I've sewn everything together. I've sewn the sleeve as well. I've gone ahead and overlock it with my overlock machine. I've overlocked the whole of it, as you can see, just to make the inside of it more neater. I have also sewn the zip already. I use invisible zip, so I've sewn it already. At the bottom of the dress, I put the lace. I'm showing you from the wrong side. So I've put the lace at the bottom of the dress. I'll turn it out so you can see the front section of it. So there is still one more thing I need to put on the dress, which is the flounce. The flounce they call it, or uh, the I just call it the flare. I'm going to be putting like a flare at the front of the dress. So this is the right side of the dress turned out. This is the right side. I'm going to take a picture and show you how it looks like once I put the flare on it. I'm going to cut out the flare in a minute. So this is the right side of the dress. As you can see the taffeta is in the middle, which is the front, and then the lace is at the side. At the back, it's just the taffeta at the back only. And then at the bottom, I've put the lace at the bottom of the dress. So it looks nice. So I've put the lace at the bottom of the dress. So what I'm going to do now, and the back also, I put the lace at the bottom as well. So the only thing I'm going to do now is to cut the flare and put at the front and I'll show you how I cut my flare. Okay everyone, so I just want to show you how I cut my flare out. What I've done is I fold the fabric into four. As you can see that's folded into two, then I folded it again making it into four so i folded it into four just take my chalk so what i'm going to do i'm just going to measure um from this point here the folded pointing edge i'm going to measure about seven inches So this is the poly cutting because I'm going to use it to turn the taffeta. So I'm just measuring seven inches. So from this point, I'm just going to measure like um, eight inches. This is, depends on you, how, how long you want the flare to be. It's only going to be in the front section of the dress. So it depends on how long you want it to be. So from this point, I'm going to be measuring eight. So I measure eight all the way around. So I cut it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it open. So I just cut it open because it's only going to be, if you can see me, I'll move the camera up a bit. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I take this, I'm only going to stitch it from this end all the way like this. And all the way down so that's all I'm going to do so it's going to be looking like this on the dress so it's from one end here all the way stitch it all the way all the way down to wherever it ends so that's where I'm going to be putting this flare so I'm going to use this one to cut the taffeta and then I will put a interfacing I'm going to be using a fabric interfacing I'll quickly show you so I'm going to be ironing this interfacing to this. 
and but i'll cut the taffeta out first and then after that i'll stitch this one with the taffeta together i'll turn it out and then i'll sew it on the dress and come and show you when i'm sewing it on the dress i'll show you okay everyone so i'm going to be sewing the flannel to the front of the dress so what i have done what i'm about to do rather is this this is the side seam of the dress this is the side seam one of the side seam because i am putting this all the way to the left side so this is the side seam so i've taken the flare and i'm pinning it just on top of the waist from the side seam so i'm going to pin it all the way walk my way down let me pin one so that you can see it so i take the pin and i pin it so i walk my way all the way down to the other side seam and then i'll walk it down to the to the hip because i'm going to be stopping somewhere at the hip so when i'm in the front here when i get to the middle here i'm going to pleat it a little bit so i'm going to be i'm going to pleat it just to be here this is where the six piece meets one of the panel of the front this is where the joining is so i'm going to pleat it somewhere there as well so I just put a pin to secure it in place and then I continue with this. So I'll continue all the way round to the side and then I'll come and show you once I finish sewing it, I'll show it to you. Okay everyone, so this is the dress. I have finished it. So all I did was just to stitch this on top. Can you see? And then I pleat it. I just stitched it on top there at the bottom see so I stitched this to the dress after I finish making the dress so this is the finished hat fit of the dress it's a six piece dress I'll take a proper picture and then also what I do I cut out the flowers and then I use glue to pull them you can hand sew them with needle and thread but the fabric glue is quicker to do that way you don't have to spend so much time putting the flowers on so and then i stitch it also at the inside and then i use needle and thread to tack it down here so yeah so this is the finish outfit i'll take a proper picture of it outfit just show you the back i swear i've used invisible zip and what i have done i've also put the flower in the middle back of it so it's a six piece it got a proper flare at the bottom when i take the picture you see it hope this video was helpful if you like this video please give it thumbs up um share it subscribe for more videos if you have any question Leave it in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Bye.